guys and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So today's reading is for the Zodiac sign of Taurus and this is your January monthly tarot reading for that time period. Now Taurus, your reading for January, um, ooh, where do I start? It's interesting. There's a lot of kind of, um, there's some stress in these cards. Okay, I'm not going to lie to you because as you know, this channel, we don't do that on this channel. We don't sugarcoat anything. We don't do any of that stuff. And when I thought about your general reading that was done, I'm sure it was a little bit more um, upbeat than this one. But let's see how we get on because this is interesting to me. And let me just also make something quite clear to you. When we do, I've done several readings um, for the year ahead. So I've done your general reading. I've done your Law of Attraction Tarot general reading for 2015 and also your angel message reading and I think the majority of those readings were quite positive but if there are inconsistencies with some of these readings guys it's simply because there's millions of you in the world okay and some stuff people might apply to and some stuff it won't okay but in terms of this reading what I'm seeing is that there is something that some of you guys are focusing on that has not made you very happy okay you're kind of it looks throughout January like you're kind of mulling over a situation that you've kind of either lost out on or you've walked away from and you're regretting walking away from it but there is support there for you okay but I mean, I don't think I've had a reading like this in a long time, but for some of you guys, and I don't want anyone to get scared or any of that business, okay? So just hold your horses on that. It's fine, all right? Your reading's fine. But it just seems to me that there is a lot of um, regret in January for some of you guys, and there's a lot of kind of um, sadness over a situation that potentially has come to an end for some of you guys. Okay, let me show you what I mean. I don't want to spend ages and ages on this reading because um, I think it needs to be a little bit more compact for you guys. We've got the King of Wands and we've got the Five of Cups. Now the King of Wands is usually a businessman, he's a managerial guy, um, he's very kind of kind, he's generous, um, he's a very bold sort of inspirational figure, um, powerful leader. Um, now, I could look at this reading one of several ways. In one way, we could look at in January that there's someone with this energy who's going to be around you. But there's something that you're focused on that you can't see. Do you see what I mean? You can't see what's going on around you. You're just focused on something that didn't go right or something that you lost or something, you know, an opportunity that you've missed out on. So in one way, we could look at it like that, that for some of you guys, it might be that there is someone with this energy around you. Okay. But you're not focused on what they're doing for you. You're only focused on what you've missed out on or what you've lost. Okay, and you need to kind of be focusing on the good stuff that's happening around you with this particular energy or person. On the other hand, we could say that um, potentially you need to be a lot more bold. Okay, that potentially I certainly think for some of you guys, perhaps going on from now before. That's something that's been keeping your attention, but not in a great way. You know, you've been keeping attention on something that's fallen through or something that's not happened or something that's not turned out the way that you wanted it to turn out, Taurus. There's a little bit of regret there, okay? And on the other hand, we could say that you just need to kind of get over that and prove yourself again with something. So potentially for some of you guys, you've missed out on something. You've probably shot yourself in the foot over something. And you're regretting it. But there's a second chance at kind of redeeming yourself and proving yourself again during January. Okay. And then also through the situation potentially with this King of Wands card. That there is a chance to kind of reevaluate yourself. And to be more balanced. And there's a little bit more wisdom from a situation that didn't work out for you. So we could look at it in a variety of ways. It's not to say that, you know... Um, that you've, you know, that you've shot yourself in the foot over something, but some of you might have done. Some of you might be regretting something. This is a card about regret. It's a card about sorrow. It's a card about loss. 
over an opportunity or something that didn't work out and you're only focusing on that. But I think when I look at these two cards, it's saying that if there is for some of you guys, if you're resonating with this in January, if there is some form of loss that's happened with you and there is a sort of regret about it, if you've instigated it or even if you haven't and there's some form of regret over something not working out for you, then really what this card is saying in January, you need to kind of get over it and you need to focus on you know, being the person that you actually are and being that bold and being that astute and being that inspirational figure. You need to kind of try and get over this situation and move on from it and become that, um, become that king of wands. You know, prove that you're good at what you do. You know, these cards say to me that whatever it has happened, potentially for some of you guys, that there is a chance for enlightenment and for development and for growth. But you need to recognise that instead of focusing on whatever the situation was that didn't work out. It could also mean that the situation didn't work out but there's someone coming in. A guy may be coming in that's going to help you out, yeah, that's going to support you. Because this card does also signify someone in power being able to help you achieve your goals. So it could be that for some of you guys, something didn't work out in 2014, but you are going to be having support in 2015, in January 2015, to help you through, to help you get over whatever it is that didn't work out. So there's an amalgamation of things we could think on those, but this is the primary things that I'm thinking with these two cards. However, during January, we've still got um, you feeling kind of, a little bit down about a situation you know you're feeling a little bit oppressed by a situation you think about you know you could release yourself from this self-enforced kind of um oppression but you, you're kind of sticking there for some of you guys and we've got that coupled with the queen of pentacles she's a very kind of um reliable loyal nurturing person okay she's really good at giving advice so i feel so for some of you guys, if this is a situation that's continuing in January where you're still feeling that little bit of angst about something, that little bit of feeling like inward about something, then this person, could it could potentially be a mother, it could potentially be a female friend. It, because it's a general reading, it could be anyone. It could be the amalgamation of the King of Wands, these two together. Okay, they're both kind of quite generous and kind with their time, you know. They're quite kind and generous with their advice and their, their time and they, they want to help and they want to support both of them. So it could be an amalgamation of these two that are trying to help you through this situation. Do you see where I'm coming from? So there could be, I think in January for a lot of you Taurians, there's support there. But you need to kind of realise that there's support there. There's support from, I think, an amalgamation of the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Wands for you. Okay. And again... I mean, I, you know what, when I get these readings, I kind of feel like a little bit bad doing it. And I know I shouldn't because it's what the cards came up. It's the cards that came up. And that's it. But remember where there is loss or where there is uh, a slight feeling of depression over a situation that didn't work out, there is always a silver lining because there's always a chance to kind of recognise that there is a learning curve here. There is something that the universe is trying to tell us. It's trying to move us on to something. The other cards that came up for you, Taurus, for January is the Death card and the Nine of Swords. I mean, this is a very, very telling situation. So this has got to resonate with some of you guys. It's got to because the reading's too strong. It's just a really strong reading. It's just so, so strong. So that something has ended. Something has ended for some of you guys. And there is some regret over it. And there is some um, a slight sense of oppression over this situation. I'm sure of it because these cards are just too strong not to be telling me this story. So there is the ending of something. This could be happening in January. It could have happened before for you guys. But there is an ending to something and, and the ending is making you feel slightly stressed. We've got three cards that talk about stress here. That talk about feeling slightly down about something. We've got the Five of Cups. We've got the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, and they're all kind of saying the same thing. Someone's not feeling too great about something. So it's the ending of something that, for some of you Taurians, that you're not feeling too great about in January, and even going on from now, I reckon. 
okay but you do have support there and that's with your queen of wands sorry queen of pentacles and your king of wands there's support there for you so you've got to you got to use it you've got to use these resources if someone's offering you help you've got to use it you got to use it, okay? You must use the resources that are available to you in whatever form they take. Because this death, this ending to something had to happen. So there's something that has to happen either in January or might have been happening now. Because remember, when we do the monthly reading, it doesn't mean that everything's going to culminate in, in January. It could happen the month after. It could happen two weeks later. It's happened to me. I've done a, had a monthly reading done and everything that the person said came to four a week, week and a half later. Or it could be happening now. It's just what it is. But this death has to happen here. You guys aren't going to be feeling great about it. I've got to be honest. Because we've got three cards that say that you're going to be feeling slightly stressed, slightly upset about something. But you've got support. You've got these very light golden coloured cards. You've got support there. And then the final two cards we've got are the Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. And again, this is a card about feeling lack and upset and a little bit down about something usually a financial situation on this one but i think tying in with the reading okay sorry i'm taking these long pauses but i'm just really looking at these cards and trying to kind of work out what this is I don't like to say too much about what the situation actually is. It might be a work situation for some of you guys. It might be. There's definitely an emotional situation because you've got your Five of Cups there and you've got your Sword cards, which are to do with challenges. So there's a challenging situation that's happening that is really testing your emotions there. And it's definitely the ending of something because we have the Death card here. But we've also got either two people, King of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, or maybe they're an amalgamation of one person who is supporting you through whatever this ending is and whatever it is that's caused you a little bit of sadness there. We do with the final two cards, as I said, have got the Knight of Wands and we've got the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Knight of Wands is all about adventure and a change of residence sometimes. So this can mean a home move. So maybe it's something within the home for some of you guys that hasn't worked out and you're feeling like you need to change your residence. Or it could be a change in how you're actually thinking because the ones card are all about our ideas and our thoughts and um, the action that we take and the energy that we put out there. But they're also to do with uh, work and career. So potentially for some of you guys, maybe it's a change in job. It can be a change in home. This can also be someone who turns up in your life as a very passionate but unreliable stranger, okay? So I think what this card is saying, the Knight of Wands, is, is to make sure that you're looking at your options there, okay? If new stuff is coming in for you in light of something ending, and if you're still carrying around that stress or you're still carrying around that vibration of what it is that ended that made you feel so down or made you feel a little bit down about it, then you need to make sure that you're not jumping into other things really, really quickly to kind of get over what it is that you feel that didn't work out okay there is with this five of pentacles still that sense of feeling lost still that sense of feeling out in the cold or feeling shut out from shut out from something but there is also a sense of hope with you guys in january because on the card we've got a woman that looks down but we've got a man that's looking up to heaven when i look at him he looks like he's looking up to heaven and saying please help so there is the sense of hope Whilst with the Five of Pentacles, there is that sense of um, feeling down, and as I've said, feeling out in the cold and feeling kind of um, alone. There is also that sense of hope there, that you know that the universe is going to help you out of whatever the situation is. This Five of Wands does infer travel as well. So I think that in light of the other cards, that some of you guys are going to be deciding to move on to something else. In January there'll be some sort of move for some of you guys because something hasn't worked out along the line you know it's not the best reading I've ever done but then as I always say with all of the readings I do um, there's always a lesson to be learned from something there's always something valuable to be gained and that's what you've got to recognize for some of you guys that resonate with this situation with the five of cups 
that there is something to be gained from it. You're not looking at what you're gaining from it. You're only looking at what you've lost with it, you know. Whatever the situation, whatever this ending is for some of you guys. Or maybe it could be that something needed to end, you know. That you were being, feeling bound by something and it was causing you stress. And you knew it was coming to an end and, you know, you're upset over the loss. And then it finally does come to an end and there is some stress there. And there is that kind of running over of, of you know of stress in your body or in your mind and you're finding it hard to kind of move on but i think because the cards the way that they came out and the way it was just the strangest thing really how these cards fell that i would i would be very surprised if this situation didn't resonate with anyone at all because it when i usually when i get a really strong reading like this something resonates with someone so I think that what the cards are trying to say, Taurus, is, is that for January or even going on from now, if you're going through a situation where there has been some loss, where you're finding it difficult to kind of get over it, and it is causing you, causing you some stress, then you need to take time out for yourself, you know? When we're feeling stressed or we're feeling... Uh, regretful of something or we're feeling you know sadness at something going it's not wise just to jump into other stuff just because it you know you want to get over what the loss is or what it is that's upset you it's wise to take advice wise counsel comfort support from people but you need time to kind of sort out your feelings on the matter rather than jumping into something else because you want to kind of replace it replace that loss with something I think that's why we've got the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is very can be a very, very unreliable character. So I think that that card really serves as a warning in January not to jump into stuff because you want to kind of erase the feeling of hurt. Take your time and then go for stuff. You know, take a little bit of time out for yourself. Guys, you know what? That's not a bad reading at all. You know, we all go through stuff. We all go through shit, don't we, basically? We all, we, we all experience it. It's just life. But, yeah, I would say going on from now into January, there's a situation where there's been some form of, you know, regret over a situation that didn't work out, the, the ending of something. And that stress, potentially, for some of you guys is still there. Or is still going to be there, but you need to take time out, not jump into things. Oh, sorry, that that frightened me. That was actually my Samsung. I don't know what. Oh my goodness, that really did give me a jolt. Um, but yeah, you need to kind of take a little bit of time out and just, you know, sort out your feelings or whatever, and then, you know, just have hope that things are okay. And my book has just dropped, yeah. Just have to hope that things are okay, guys, because they are okay. They are okay. When we experience something that didn't go our way, then, you know. And also it could be that you guys are walk obviously walking away from something, you know, with the death card. Something's ended, you know. Something's ended and you've had to walk away from it. I think something like this came up for you guys, you know, in your um, in your angel message reading, funnily enough. That's going up. I'm sure that something like this from the angels came up. So check that one out. Check that reading out and see what it says. Because something like this has come up in the angel message reading. But yeah, just take your time, guys. Because for some of you guys, there might be something that, you know, ends and might cause you a little bit of stress if it hasn't already. If you resonate with this situation, you know what I'm talking about, but it won't last long. It's just a little bump in the road and you'll be absolutely fine. There is sadness there, but then there's an awful lot of hope as well because we've got the Five of Pentacles and I consider that to be a a card not just about feeling a little bit of loss and out in the cold, but also one of resounding hope and knowing that your situation isn't going to be there forever because the universe is on your side so have faith in the universe and have faith that you're going to be okay Taurus that's your reading for January I will be back with your February reading okay and that's going to be up very shortly on the channel because I realize that I've been a little bit behind with readings lately because I had all these year ahead readings to put up but um I will be up that will be up very very shortly and um just like to say thanks for joining me guys and I'll speak to you very very soon love you loads take care